They are attorneys, they are chefs, they are teachers, they are veterans, they are clergy, government workers, students, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, mothers, fathers. You know, Fanogi is not just for straight people. It's, it's for everyone. On Monday, members of the LGBT community met with senators to discuss Bill 164. Introduced in August by Senator Joseph Augustine and Speaker Benjamin Cruz, the bill would clarify the definition of sex to protect trans and other gender identities. Lacia Casil, co-founder of ISA LGBT Guam and Guam Pride, cites cultural barriers and daily discrimination that has forced many to leave island. They want to be a part of Guam and um, contribute in positive ways, but they're persecuted on a daily basis. The interesting thing that we found out um, about Guam was that compared to these national facts, um, taken in these surveys, uh, there are zero instances of LGBT discrimination reported on Guam, which means we are either living on paradise or there's a real fear of coming forward. There's a real fear so deeply ingrained. Um, we don't confront this. People don't report the incident incidences um, because it's family, we don't want to bring shame, it, it's, it, it's a real cultural thing. Scarlett Dixon, a trans woman as well, says even though it seems the tough times are long gone, acceptable societal norms still push out her fellow sisters. The island culture is so much more accepting than it was even 10 years ago, 20 years ago. I have not been discriminated in the bathroom, I have not dealt with a lot of the deep um, issues that a lot of my other friends have dealt with because if one of my sisters has a deep voice, they're treated differently than I am. They can't use the restroom, but I can. Bill 164 hopes to clarify the language for the LGBT community. University of Guam professor Ron McNich is proudly in support of this bill, but suggested a referee for enforcement and that sex offenders be the exemption to the rule. I'm worried about uh, men who are sex offenders, the, the wolf in sheep's clothing type, going into a female's restroom or female shower room or, or whatever, claiming that they're, you know, in, on uh, another uh, gender and using or exploiting the genuine civil rights purposes of this law. Despite this concern, Dixon was grateful and hopeful for the future where the LGBT community will find a home on Guam. This legislature has been the first legislature to really have compassion towards the LGBT community. Compassion and another step towards equal rights for all. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi.